maybe collaborations or community? Hey. Go for it, Dietrich. I was just finishing writing, but I'm finished. Good morning, everybody. Guten Morgen. A couple of notes from collaborations. Uh, uh, Opera reached back out. The main, our main contact over at Opera that was driving that work um, was kind of out for the summer. So we have a conversation in progress again, uh, which is nice. And it looks like we will keep things moving along there. I get the, as you're, you are well aware now, the, the arc and time frame of browser work is a little longer. Just slowly keep pushing these balls forward. Related notes, Mozilla reached out and wanted to talk about LibDWeb, also in browser land. Uh, this was something where the, I think the, 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 the team that was responsible for the, uh, that work or kind of like um, was accountable for that work. So the level of uh, risk that it entailed, they didn't really have the tolerance for it. And the team that seems to be responsible for it now has a little bit more entrance, uh, interest and also um, expertise in the area, familiar with the risk and stuff there. So that, that is, sounds interesting. They've reached out to scuttlebutt.us and WebTorrent and are looking at ways to ship all four uh, in, in some version somehow or allow them to work in a release version of Firefox this year. Uh, yeah, great news. Um, uh, Arcadi and I put together a proposal for user registry and uh, collabs pipeline and shared that with Molly last week and went through a first draft and um, maybe we should type maybe to a few minutes in this meeting or um, next week in this meeting or maybe schedule a different meeting for people that want kind of a uh, deeper look into what we're going to be doing there. It really would be great to have uh, more feedback from the different teams. One of the things we learned going through that process was we interact with about eight or nine different teams in any given collabs work, which is uh, one of the reasons why coordinating around it has been an interesting challenge. But there's definitely things that it would be great to have those groups feedback on. So maybe I'll just grab five minutes of the meeting next week here. For that. Anything else, uh, Lytle or Kadi from Collabs Land? I um, since I'm here, and I also am DRIing or co-DRIing the um, maintenance OKR. I talked with uh, Ollie and uh, Enrique last week, and we have a good understanding of what needs to happen there. Um, the OKR was updated to be a little bit more explicit around what we were responding to and what the kind of P0 work would be for in that area. So if there are hard dependencies on things like um, desktop and GUI to make sure that we are reacting in a way that reflects that priority. Yeah, Holly. Two quick questions. One, have we tested um, desktop and GUI or anything like that with the upcoming um, patch release that we're, we're doing for GoIPFS? Um, since we have an RC out, I was curious if we we're doing any like proactive testing to um, identify if we're going to make any sort of breakages. Um, and then my question on the collaboration side was, does anyone have an update with ENS? So for the answer for the first question, I don't know, but that is exactly what we talked about, is that to make sure that they were tested uh, in the cadence with the core implementations releases. But I don't know whether that has actually happened. So I will take an action to answer that. Arkady, do you have an update on Enos? Uh, is, there, is there a specific thing that you want to know? Um, I'm curious about like the status of the, how the, the work on that is progressing, whether we've had any contact with um, the folks who are working on it since seeing the cool demo at IPFS camp or um, just kind of any next steps from our collaboration standpoint. So I'll, I'll catch up with them as well. I believe there's like a, an open PR in GoIPFS for uh, supporting that EETH. 
Um, but that's about it. Uh, I don't think there's uh, anything apart from that uh, did not happen since I gave come. Uh, and to give a bit more light on that, there's um, there's still some open questions around uh, TLDs versus new protocols, whether we want to go like slash ETH uh, slash something or just do TLD. My current thinking is just do the TLD because that's what they're doing in browsers. Um, but there are some concerns here because like we're not getting a clear name spacing where like we have like they're like this is ETH. This is I or I can. This is us. Whatever. Instead, we're getting like I can, and then random like things within I can that are like other systems. Um, so I think we'll go with this for now, and then try to find a better solution like permanently. Um, while we're on the community stuff, I, I want to jump in quickly. Um, is that cool? All right. Cool. Um, so um, I, I didn't get a lot done on the um, awesome at PFS slash blog post for our camp last week. I will do it this week. Um, I was uh, working on some interesting stuff though for Perma Web, um, which uh, uh, just a quick update. We've set up kind of the the most aggressive chat bridging there is on the entire internet. Uh, so for the community, so basically now all of our chats are bridged not only on Discord plus Mail3 Express IRC, but we also have a Slack, a Telegram, a Gitter. Um, I think there was another one too, and everything is bridged. Um, so I was going to do a blog post about that and, and post it on the subreddit and all this kind of stuff, just to explain, like you know, when we're open, we mean it, kind of thing. So anyway, so that's that's coming later this week too. Are you saying we can now use our all of our IRC channels through Slack as well? Because that sounds really cool. Uh, we uh, so for the IPFS Slack, yes, we can. That one is not set up because I don't have admin or access to that one yet. If someone gives me an invite, I'll set up the bridges. We can absolutely do that. So yeah, just ping me on the side, and I will, I'll get it done. Easy. The the Perma Web Slack is bridged. Uh, I have a question on, um, uh, sorry, ENS collab. Uh, is there any way we can get the ENS spec updated to not say that multi adder should be used for content? Um, because there's a, uh, an EIP that says that multi adder must be used for content. And then we get people coming into the uh, multi codec repo saying, hey, I need a multi adder codec. And we're like, no, actually, you need this other kind of codec. And we have to like, go through this back and forth of like, figuring out what they actually need. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Awesome, cool. Um, other IPFS community reports. Dietrich, I think these are both yours. Uh, yep. Thanks, Tim, for adding our DWIP camp update there. I haven't checked to see if there are more. Um, there, if you want more details about what that was like, uh, the details are starting to emerge. Uh, I'm also going to do a talk at the Indie Web Meetup. I mean, talk. It's a very casual meetup, the Indie Web Meetup in San Francisco. Uh, but I'm going to do a talk, a little slideshow there about DWebCamp. What is that? Sorry? When is that? Because I uh, missed the one last week. So. The, the next one, I think, is the seventh. I think it's every, every two weeks. Oh, okay, I'll be there then. That's the that's right before the right. Um, the IPFS meetup we have in SF, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that same week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is this uh, about DWeb DWeb Camp in general, or our participation in DWeb Camp, or a, a little bit of both? Because uh, I think there there was some other indie web event that happened, so a lot of them weren't able to join. Um, but the there's interest in kind of using that indie web meetup as a place where different decentralization projects or uh, DIY or self-hosted or new data have a project start, are starting to meet up together. So a little bit of cross-pollination opportunity there. The other item I had there was um, I drafted a blog post for uh, uh, the Q3 changes in both focus and working groups. So if you have any edits, please feel free to make them or add comments in line there. Thanks. Awesome, awesome. And we still have David. Research, lots of exciting stuff happening. Tell us more. Hello, hello, hello. I can zoom you all. 
I'm using an external device this time so that the internet is better. Uh, cool. So let me just pop into that document again. Uh, yeah. So um, two main things. Uh, there will be a very interesting workshop on just peer-to-peer -peer set of the art uh, information centering and working um, in person. Um, and out of that in-person workshop, there will be recordings and uh, like artifacts that people can consume. Uh, the original plan was to do it before the Web3 Summit in Berlin in August, but it's like due to lack of availability from a lot of people that really wanted to be there, uh, and it would be really important for them to be there, uh, it got postponed. Uh, nevertheless, uh, don't never fear, uh, there will be a two-hour version uh, this Wednesday uh, that is going to be done through Zoom. So if you are with a lot of appetites to know what is has been happening in research world uh, on peer peer um, and information center networking, come listen to your Yanis give us a, a workshop in all of that. Uh, I will ask a better link uh, to with the description for this workshop. The calendar event is like super super detailed. Uh, and I put it on a gist so that you all have access. It's here on a comment on the uh, Google box. Then, yeah, uh, that's two main things. Then th there's like progress uh, on like, what is this network lab? Um, but basically it's a continuation of what I shared with you last week. Um, essentially we are uh, in the process of refining what we want to do, how we are going to tackle like the, the challenges we have ahead. Uh, and it's mostly uh, an exercise of like, brain dumping, articulating, interviewing, PowerPoint research, getting feedback, putting a stamp, shipping it, and, and, and starting at full speed. Um, yeah. Any questions? How good? Cool. Awesome. And uh, last but, oh, quick question. Do, how to, uh, is that going to be on the community calendar, that workshop, or where would I check to find out how? When and where to join? So, uh, excellent question. It's not on the community calendar yet. Um, it, it, it just like dawned on me that like the workshop is this week and it is not widely committed to the company yet. Like the way peer team knows about it. So, like when like I saw the prompt from Ollie here, it's like, oh snap! Like totally, we are missing a URL here. We are missing like it's in a community calendar. So I'm just like now. Just reaching out, like George owns the event, so I'm, I'm going to ask him to like move it to the community calendar and then have a, an issue that describes it. So, but thank you for asking, yeah, yeah, we, we should be. Awesome, awesome, cool. And last thing, IPFS implementations, quality releases on a schedule. Uh, so yeah, uh, GSFS is, has an uh, RC out, 0.37. Uh, GoIPFS is going to stage three uh, for the software release today, unless one of our early testers objects, but they've asked for a week and they've now had a week in a few days, so uh, we'll talk about that. Um, uh, interrupt testing, Alan is working really hard on this. Um, yeah, that's, that's it right there. Um, or not interrupt testing, sorry, uh, just testing in general. Yep. So interrupt tests are passing now? Oh, the interrupt tests, okay. The interrupt tests on the release are passing. Uh, those are all done. Uh, the inner tests on current master are not passing because we introduced a bug uh, before we got the interrupt test passing. Uh, so that has been reported and we will fix that. But on the release, they are passing. But that's actually that's not a problem in uh, the interrupt test. That's just a normal bug in GoPass. And we're going to proactively ping our uh, early testers before we soft release, right? Uh, yes, I've already picked up. Cool, cool. And there was also a talk about um, doing a blog post about our release process now that we've updated it and we are going through it. Um, I haven't made progress on that. Okay, so next, yeah, that, something that for is a dependency for the release because I want to get that out at the same time. But. And so, what's our ETA so that we know what sort of support to be putting on that blog post? Uh, as soon as I can. That's all I can give. So like before the release, so definitely this week. That, my, my question was more about the release itself. So we're aiming to oh, release this week. The release, I mean, the release is when it's ready. Uh, the, so again, I want to go through the full release process and make sure that all of our uh, 
or early tests have signed off on it and said that yes, like we haven't noticed any issues. So like that depends entirely on that cycle of communication with them. Um, but yes, I would like to release by the end of this week. The release has been stable for ages, so like I don't see a reason why not to. Um, but again, I want to go through the full cycle of actually like getting everyone on board with the release and making sure that it's fine. All right. Any other topics? Do we have any other agenda items that people wanted to talk through? Anything that anyone's blocked on wants feedback on? No, oh, actually, I have a small item. Um, there's a spammer that came to the uh, subreddit this week and asking about, let's say, uh, posting tons <coughs> of not safe for work content on IPFS. Um, so I banned the person. Uh, but that created a whole debate about free speech and blah, blah, blah on the chats, uh, where I was like, well, look, it's a dev community and we're trying to have like the conversation about dev. You can have these conversations elsewhere, but this is not okay right now. So I added some small rules on the subreddit of like no piracy, not, no, say, not safe for working and stuff uh, without knowing if we're aligned there. Like if, uh, if the stance of protocol is like, no, we can talk about everything because we want to empower porn site posters or whatever that i mean could be but i'm assuming that's not like so uh, in part of this kind of public forum our community guidelines apply here uh so if we go to i think it's ifs slash community uh, i posted the link on the chat uh, thank you uh then okay. like uh that those are basically our guidelines for what you can and cannot do with the community we have a code of conduct uh yeah and like, so cool. our, our stance on this I'll is that. that, yeah, this is a developer community. This is like freedom of speech applies to you in general. Or it's a thing that goes this between you and the government. Um, as a private company with a, uh, or forget private company, as like a, uh, a project, uh, we have to set rules around like what is okay in this community, what is not okay in this community. Yeah, totally. Okay, well, I think we're on the same page. I'll go and check the rules, make sure we're uh, synced with that. No, no problem. Yeah, I see the little blurb, and I think it's generally in line, but I'd recommend we just link to the code of conduct to be really clear that we're not having special rules for one platform or another. We keep the same community okay. guidelines across all these platforms. Yeah, sounds good. And uh, like you said, yeah, I just put something because I didn't know there was something else. So I'll make sure it's aligned. No problem. Anything else that's on people's mind? Something that's on my mind and is uh, just holding myself accountable by telling other people about it. Um, there's an awesome human who wants to come contribute on the communication side to the IPFS project who I need to help write a, a work plan up for um, to make sure that we have a, a clear vision of how she could help contribute. Um, so that's a thing on my agenda for today. This is the person that's been contributing randomly to like all the FS repos. The everyone's name. Top of Swanee. No. Yeah. Yep. That's, but that's awesome. But different person. Oh, different person. Okay. All right. Well, if we're out of topics, then everyone have a wonderful rest of your Monday and hopefully see you very shortly for the IPFS weekly call. Bye. Oh, bye.